Corporate Nation here at Diesel Gym with Paris Rose and today we're going to show you what to do if someone goes to steal your handbag. So my advice firstly is if someone goes to steal your handbag, just let them have it. Everything or most things in your handbag can be replaced fairly easily so it's not worth getting in a confrontation over that. But if you have something worth risking your life for or you want to protect something in there then you can use this defense. So let's start about a couple of ways of how you should walk down the street or hold your handbag in the first place. So first, Paris doesn't want to be walking with the handbag on the same side of the street because someone could easily have a motorbike or a scooter and grab the handbag and ride off with it. So she wants to be on the other side. Okay, so the road's there, she wants to be here. Second, um, you want to have your right hand free to, to attack or to be able to defend. So I would normally have it on, well, I would not normally have it. <laughs> I would recommend that you have it on your left side. Yeah. So when it's on your left side, just like this. If it's at the back, I could easily come here and steal stuff without you knowing. If it's crossed over like this, if I go to run and grab, I will pull Paris with me, so she'll end up getting hurt. So the proper way you should do it would be on the left side, slightly in front, so I'll have to be within her line of sight if I wanted to steal the bag. So this defense works whether I come from the back trying to steal it or whether I come from the front. As soon as Paris realizes I'm going to steal the handbag, she wants to bend that arm. So as soon as she bends that arm, it will prevent me from running off with the bag. When she's there, she needs to get into a nice strong stance, squaring up. This is pretty much like a guarding stance. Here, as I'm pulling her towards me with the handbag, she wants to Close the distance. She'll grab the straps, stepping in, running in with a knee, Ooh, and then adding in those elbows. So you can just keep throwing knees and elbows, but I think after a couple, you should be able to mobilize your opponent, leaving you unharmed, ready to escape the situation with your handbag intact. 